We got a uh, Whipple Stage 1 on this 2024 F-150 Super Crew short bin. We're asked to do an install and install the uh, Whipple calibration. Customer asked that we put it on the dyno, data log it, make sure everything was going to be good. Uh, this video, not to bash anybody but Ford, actually, uh, not Whipple or anything like that, or but manage expectations. This truck is running premium 91, California spec 91, the good stuff. Um, <clears throat> good brand. This uh, truck has a build date of March. It has 6,000 miles on it. Very nice truck. Love them, all aluminum, the whole nine. This Whipple kit is interesting. <clears throat> First one we've done on the Gen 4s that uses stock injectors. It's also using a stock throttle body. So clearly, it's gonna have its limits probably on very low boost. Uh, the pulley on it is a Ford Performance. So it's a Ford Performance kit. 3.875 pulley. Um, carries a warranty. Beautiful, he's gonna need it. Uh, let's go over. We had issues. Uh, normally I would dyno and tune all these trucks in uh, sixth gear. It's not even the one-to-one. -one. We get up to 155-ish miles an hour. Uh, we dynoed this one in sixth gear and I don't want to say it's a speed limiter because it did not limit the speed. <laughs> Uh, but it did go into Torque Source 16 and do a bunch of other shit that is going to kill catalysts. In fact, my whole shop smelled like burning catalysts. And I'll show you the dynograph here. And then I'll show you the data log. Uh, so before, before I do that, I decided to get an optimum dyno pull for accurate, uh, well, as high a number as I could get, right? So we let the truck cool off and I ran it in fifth gear. Fifth gear, let's see if we can make more in fifth, right? A lot less load. Here's what we got. This is the fifth gear pull. You see it says fifth gear at the top. Um, we pulled it to, actually the limiter just past 7,000 RPM because it does have a rev limiter. We made SAE corrected, 562 torque, 523, or 562 horsepower, excuse me, 523 torque. Now, limit expectations. I say this because right at just before 100, it goes into a uh, limit. It pulls down power dramatically, see that? It did this in sixth gear as well. Let me pull up the sixth gear file. Yeah, look at that. So at, uh, we'll go speed here. Yeah, so same, same. Uh, I think it, in, in the uh, data log, it read 102, 103 miles an hour. Dyno is a little bit different. This has, you know, different wheels and tires on it. Factory changes some stuff up. So in this truck, we'll never have power ever for a full quarter mile pass. It's gonna go over 100 miles an hour in a quarter. Hell, my freaking Super Duty out there will hit a 95 mile an hour speed limiter inside of a quarter mile in factory stock form. How are we gonna have a supercharged truck ever go the quarter mile without going into this protection mode? So here you go. Um, in sixth gear, we made 459 horsepower and 485 torque. Now, before I go over the data log here, which I did use SCT for logging, I'm gonna show you an overlay of a 23 truck. Now, 23 to 24 is a carryover. They're both Gen 4s. But a 23 truck come in and, and uh, these are again, high compression engines and the customer did exhaust and, and we talked him into E85. E85 is the way to go, right? So this, this has exhaust and a ported stock manifold and I'm just gonna overlay here. All SAE corrected. Now notice that says 419 max horsepower and 466 torque. Look at that curve. And guess what? We pulled it much higher RPM and a mile an hour, actually 155 before. So essentially anything over hundred miles an hour and the Whipple trucks are gonna be toast. So if, if, uh, if you wanna race a 24 Whipple truck, make sure it's a long enough road that you're going over hundred miles an hour because you're gonna kick his ass. So here we go. Um, we picked up all of this torque here from a supercharger. Let's go ahead and get a cursor in here. So let's say at uh, 
I don't want speed, I want engine speed. Okay, so we're gonna say at 3,500 RPM, you're going from basically 3,500 right here. 408 rear wheel torque to 455. You pick up a good 45 foot pounds of torque with the Whipple and a usable RPM, more down low. So you get your nice torque bump of 45 foot pounds, uh, horsepower bump until you hit your limiter. <clears throat> the real kicker, like this is, this, is, this is a big fail. I mean, honestly, who wants a truck that only goes to 100 miles an hour with a supercharger? And it gets worse. Over here on the data log, sixth gear data log. Okay, first off, knock sensor. Look at that, bam. This has factory exhaust, it's a smog legal kit. So we're like, okay, it shouldn't be false knock from exhaust rattles or whatnot, right? Nah, it shouldn't be. 2,500 RPM right here, we're seeing, this has individual cylinder timing and individual cylinder knocks. So you'll see between, some cylinders are at 13 degrees, some are at 10.7, that's before it knocks. And then the knock sensor goes off, pulls two and three quarter degree. We're now at, mm, some cylinders are at nine and a half, right? It's gonna pull on those cylinders first and the others at 13 and a half. So clearly 13 and a half degrees ignition timing is too much at 3,200 RPM. For pump gas, huh. uh, let, me, let me just be very clear here. This is on the dyno. This is not a loaded drum. This is an inertia drum. This truck should weigh over 5,000 pounds. You know how much that drum weighs? That it's turning and it's knocking on? It's 2,200 pounds. So we're knocking at 20, pushing 2,200 pounds in a 5,000 pound truck. In other words, it's gonna knock harder on the street. Okay, so knock. Why is it knocking and, and it traces down? What's up with that? Well, look at that air fuel. Look at that measured air fuel. What the F? Now, just so we're clear, this is measured air fuel, left bank, right bank. So I'm cruising along and boom, I punch it and it's lean and it's lean. And okay, there's 869. We are at almost a second in and it trails lean and then it goes rich. And then as we go into that negative timing here in Torque Source 16, oh, it really gets rich. Look at that. Look at that measured there. It's killing the cats. It's just putting fuel to the fire. Negative ignition timing, the air fuel mixture is still burning when the exhaust valve opens. Now you're putting fuel to it. It's gonna burn up cats.